Thank you for the shoulder. Anytime. That's why I wear them pat. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Go home and see Rachel. That's what I always do. Is there any more word about Cass and Kathleen? No, not a word. Vince must be beside yeah, himself. We all are. Makes me realize how lucky I am. Ooh, I think you should go home and tell your wife that. That's what I'll do. Bye -bye. <laughs> see you later, Mac. So see you, Mac. Hi. How is he? Uh, better, I think. Uh, what have you been doing? Oh, just seeing a man about a boat. Hey. Uh, look. You want to take a little, uh, take a little ride this evening? Sounds romantic. Well, good. Mm -hmm. You just sit down and finish your drink, and I'll uh, go make a phone call. Uh, Zane, uh, is this romance or is this adventure? Well, with you along, it could be a little bit of both. What does that mean? Well, now, don't you worry. Don't worry. We're just going to look from a distance. Oh. All right. I can do that. Well, Brayden, are you going to tell me where we're going? No, well, I thought we'd just take a little cruise down Route 42, maybe drop by the Happy Go Lucky Diner. You're kidding. Uh, don't get excited. We're just going to look. It's no big deal. You know, I, I do know this wonderful restaurant off of Route 42. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah, it's called Rinaldi's. The food's supposed to be wonderful. Does it have a great view of the lake? You know the place. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, but you talk about it all the time, lady. That's why I made us a reservation. For tonight? Oh, I love you, you know that. And I love you. And I haven't been doing enough romantic things for you lately. Boy, what did I do to deserve you, huh? I think we're both pretty lucky. You know, I feel good. Really, very good. In fact, I think we might even find Cass. Well, let's hope so. You know, there's nobody in the world like you. I really am the lucky one. The best day of my life was the first day I laid eyes on you. <sighs> Everything I ever wanted, you know that? Keep your eyes on the rug, Buster. <laughs> well, here we are. Route 42. Listen, uh, MJ and Adam know that you're doing this. Well, I talked to MJ, but Adam was questioning Gloria, so I couldn't talk to him. What was that word that MJ remembered? You know, the one that Adam said might be important? Frolic. Frolic, right. Oh. And here we are looking for the happy-go-lucky diner, right? Right. Because the cook huh. there has been given five carry-out meals to the same guy for several days now. Happy-go-lucky and frolic. Boy, that's ironic, isn't it, after what Cass and Kathleen have been through? Yeah. At least my nose is itching. I beg your pardon? Listen, I think we're on to something, darling. I think we may be getting close now. I think you can just relax. We've got about 10 miles to go or so. And Finger said that this guy is still taking food out every day. Three times a day. Well, that would be Cass, Kathleen, and Cecile, and those two creeps that kidnapped them. Yeah, that's the way I figure it. It might 
might mean that we're really getting close to finding them. Yeah, well, makes sense, doesn't it? Did you tell MJ all of this? Well, I tried to, but she was kind of busy, you know, so... Uh... Why do you think this guy picked this particular diner, huh? Why, well, he likes the cuisine? No, it's because I think we're close to finding Cass. Well, darling, now, don't get your hopes up, you know, because it might not even be the same guy. Well, your nose is itching, isn't it? Yeah. It's him, Zane. I know it is. I can tell. Oh, boy, let's hope so. Zane, I think you better pull off and uh, call MJ and Adam. Why, is it telling my nose is itching? No, no, because we found the happy-go-lucky diner. Look, there it is right up there. Oh, yes. Look. These two guys are real pros. And they probably got a small arsenal in that funhouse. We'll get them, sir. Look, haven't you got more than five guys? It'll be a piece of cake. But don't get cocky, because you guys don't know the whole story yet. What else is there? Somebody else is after the Queen of Tangier. And he may show up before we do. Who? His name is Johann Ludwig. He just came in from South America. He's to be considered armed and very dangerous. He'll kill anybody who gets in his way. Thanks, pal. McKinnon, hand, ma hand maps out to everybody. Michael, it's me. Now spit it out, buddy. What's up? Listen, I got uh, the suite number to LaSalle. It's 1115. Okay, what do you want me to do? You got a reservation in the suite right next to his. Great. Now, look, I'm a little short-handed, so I want you to keep an eye on him. My pleasure. <laughs> That's all I want you to do is just watch. Don't let him see you. He won't. I might recognize you, so just stay out of his way, all right? Adam, I will be careful. We can't let him slip through our fingers again. Hey, I'm not about to let that happen, all right? Look, I gotta go. All right, let's head out. I'll meet you guys at the main gate to the park. You circle on your map. And nobody does anything until I get there. All right, let's go. Okay, I'll give you a map, Adam. What are you just standing there for? What else am I supposed to do? You mean I can go? You don't think I leave without my communications officer, All do you? Right. You're not going anywhere without me, Buster. Oh, that's good. That's good. Now she's got both guns, you big dummy. Shut up. Yes. I am not staying here with them. No way. We'll send the cops back for all of you. You're not listening. No. There are too many people who want me dead. What, besides them? Any monarch worth her salt makes a lot of enemies, that's right. Well, I don't care, Cecilia. Well, you should care, Kathy, because I'm the one with the gun. Not for long, Chubby. <laughs> Kathleen, did I ever tell you that I'm absolutely nuts about you? Get outside when she's not here to distract you. Yes. Get over there. Get over there, Cecilia. What are you doing? Oh, get that rope away from me. Do not tie my wrist. No! No! Love money. Easy come, easy go. You stupid idiot! You've given up a fortune, do you realize that? I don't care. What a wonderful, wonderful sight. Yes, please, my wrist are killing me in this thing, please. Well, when I call the cops, I'll ask them to bring their most comfortable pair of handcuffs for you. How's that? Don't you dare leave me! Kathleen, let's go, shall we? Yes. We're free. No, I, I don't believe I did. You leave that jacket alone. It has my diamond certificates in the lining worth millions that I should never have told you about in the first place. Stick it back to me. Oh, you know, Cass, I really hate to be cold. Oh, honey. Here. <sighs> oh, that's much better. Much better. I have a feeling this jacket's going to keep me warm for a very long time. Shall we? Shall. <laughs> for weeks. Kiss off, Cecile. No! <laughs> Shut up, you! Yeah.